Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about which are the governing majorities in the European Parliament, what are the coalitions that rule Europe, who supports the legislation and the nomination of commissioners in the European Parliament. The European Parliament has 751 deputies, MEPs, members of Parliament, who form into seven groups and one group of non-registered, non-inscribed. Um, the governing majority is formed by four groups that usually form coalitions or alliances or negotiate the legislation or the nomination of commissions, which we are doing at the moment. Um, those groups are by order of size. The biggest one is the Popular Party. That's the party of Angela Merkel, for example, and includes the Christian Democrats uh, parties in Germany, in the Netherlands, in the EU, CEA, Popular Party in Spain. Um, that party is the largest and includes, for example, uh, the President of the European Commission, who is chosen because she belongs to the largest party, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, um, a German Christian Democrat. The second party is SND, that's the Socialist Party, includes Labour, Socialist parties in different uh, parts of Europe. The President of Parliament belongs to that party, one of the Vice Presidents of the Commission as well. The third party is my party, Renew Europe. The third group is, is Renew Europe, which includes, uh, on the one hand, ALDE, all the liberal parties that uh, form ALDE, including, for example, the liberal party that runs in the Netherlands or Ciudadanos of the liberal party in Belgium. And also includes two new uh, parties that joined uh, after European elections, the movement of Macron and Marche Renaissance, and uh, two parties in Romania, which are in the coalition USR+. The president of our group, Renew, belongs to this Romanian party, uh, it's called Dacian Cholos. We also have a vice president of the commission, Margareta Vestager, and we are the party that kind of, by virtue of being in the center, we are very instrumental in shaping the legislation and shaping this consensus. We are the bridge builders, if you want. The fourth party that's usually in this coalition, sometimes is, sometimes isn't, is the Greens, depending on the size of the majority that you have and that you need. The Greens is a party that includes all the Green parties, mostly strong in Northern Europe. Uh, those four parties met in the summer. We spent many, many hours negotiating an agreement for the program of government of the European Commission. And of course, uh, those four parties are now forming the majorities to um, confirm the commissions. They need two thirds, so they can do it without the four. There are three other parties that are not in that majority, but that sometimes could in be involved in some of the majorities, but often are in the opposition. First, GUE, the party to the left of the socialists, which includes communists, Podemos, the party of Tsipras. Second, ECR, a uh, party to the right of the Democristians, which includes the British Conservatives and Spanish Vox, for example. And third, ID, the most extreme right party, which includes the party of Salvini and the party of Le Pen or Wilders. The European Parliament works by consensus. You have to build consensus both within these groupings, which cross, of course, many boundaries, include many national parties that potentially have different interests. That's why we spend a lot of time in group meetings trying to build those consensus. And then after the group has a consensus, you have to reach out to the other groups to try to, to get a majority, because nobody in Parliament can get a majority for them by themselves. Um, and that's how the European Parliament works, by building bridges, by building coalitions, by working across groups. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you.